tropa da like é sério. Seja bem-vindo. Eu posto o vídeo do meu Xbox S. Tamo junto, tropinha. Vamos pro vídeo. And Charles Oliveira. Hoje eu vou nocautear aquele frango. Qual foi já deu de pomada? Alisa muito não mano. Toma esse bafo. Agora vou concentrar no objetivo. Que Deus abençoe. Vou entrar no psicológico. Ele vai ficar em choque. Faça isso logo. Quero nocautear esse frango. Cuidado ai juizão. Meu menino fica ai. Não vou nem olhar. Quero nocautear o aperão. Salve rapaziada, sou o juiz da luta. Não aceito brincadeiras. From the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Vai logo narrador. Estou alvoroçado. Parece que usei trigo. Nine losses and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Charles do Box. Aonde é esta torcida para fazer barulho? And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of. 31 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Jose! Aonde está a minha torcida? Do norte do Brasil. Os dois frango vêm aqui, sem brincadeira porque ninguém é criança. Espero que os dois entenderam. Toca aí Charles, vou tocar na sua mão não, beleza depois não chora. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But the JJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submissions coming even if it's just to change positions to secure top oh, nice land there with the punch you see he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the jump 
straight punch. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Beautiful punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oliveira gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high. And now he's got hurt back. And they separate. Oh! Aldo gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big knee to the body, man alive! So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. It was a good night if that landed. Oh! And that one was heavy. Entertaining scrap so far. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. One round two is here already. The King of Rio, Jose Al, and Charles Oliver. And it comes through the big knee. A timely defense there. Huge block for him. advantage as he landed the jab there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. So 37 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. And above 50% too when it comes to the connection rate, landing with 51% accuracy against Jose L. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Went for the inside leg kick. Inches right oh. oh, what a head lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. 
Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Visibly limping here. Oh, and there's a kick now in the body. That one blocked by Al. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, fades upstairs and lands flushed. If they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Nice punch by Oliveira. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. Essa doeu demais. Tensão arteria sangrando. Vou nocautear ele. Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oliveira gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. So 52 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit, 39% now on the connections against Jose Alba. Straight right, he misses. Aldo gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Toma essa então, José Aldo. Sorte que errei. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Under two minutes to go. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, big knee. Oh, nice jab. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Nice punch there by Oliver. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he certainly... Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. And what a round! Alright, the round is over. This could Desse jeito, vou ser nocauteado. Tenho que agir. Sustained in that round. Of course, we've got some of the best cut men in the world tonight, but he's got to quickly shut that thing and make sure. Essa deu ate sono tensão arteria doido. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed 
that the power is not equal in ability to damage him. Vou nocautear você agora, José Aldo. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. to the body now, that one won't land. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Just missed with the left there. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand. Esse não vai falar muito. Nunca mais. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. Inscreva-se, Jeep, e deixa o like. Seus mano, Brawl. Quando você pode ver esses homens e mulheres realizar esses sonhos, mas para fazer isso em heavyweight, man, é just incrível ver esse cara realizar um UFC title. E você olha a emoção no seu rosto, você pode ver que isso é um sonho que ele tem tido por um longo tempo e agora ele está realizado.